So I start this by using F3, which is no clip. You can hold shift to go faster. Um, and I'm looking for a location for where I'm going to base my picture. So I chose a building that was just off of Little Soul because my character is based her. And I set up at the edge. I went to the object spooner and I spawned my character into the world. Um, thankfully she didn't fall off the edge, but usually you'd probably want to stand a little bit further back because they will just fall off. Um, I went through the menus, spawned in a female, and then I went to the manage entity database at pet options, and I just attached it to myself and moved over. This is the quickest way to get your character to where you want them to be, um, much quicker than manual placement. I then went back into the menu to go to the wardrobe and I selected the outfit which basically loaded in my character and gave me her face and then I went into the customization phase. So the customization is going to be finding what you want your character to have on them, their clothing as well. So I got the hair sorted Then I went in to sort the dress that I wanted her to wear and then I did the same for the shoes and I also did the same for the legs. So I'm just adding a necklace on here. Um, you can also use no clip again while you are editing um, your character. It gets you much closer up. You can see the details a lot more. Um, so here I am just moving forward. Uh, with the uh, top, you want to make sure that it's always at 15 for the females, which I just showed. And then the pants, you want to make sure that they are not clipping um, anywhere around her. So I do check the back, I check the front, and just make sure it is okay. And then I just added on some accessories, glasses, and the earrings. Now that I have my character where I want her to be, I'm just adjusting the weather. I always turn it to extra sunny usually or clear and then I pause the time, well I unpause the time sorry, and I find the hour I want it to be at and then I pause it once I find the time that I think is going to look the best for the picture. Um, once I've finished with the time, I am going into the MISC options and you may want to turn vehicle population down or up or decrease the pet population depending on what kind of picture you're going to have. So I'm having one where she's on a busy street so I have kept uh, the vehicle population up but I turned down the pet population simply from personal preference. You can have it as whatever you want it to have it on. Uh, now I'm just editing the pet directly. Frozen in place, this means she doesn't move with the animations. Invincible, she won't die and collision. If you walk into her, she won't fall off the edge. Then I'm going to the animations where you can actually mix them. So I go to settings, I set it to upper body second task loop for the first one. So animation settings and then adjust it. Then I just scroll through the animations and I try and find one that would work. Some of them twist the torso, some of them don't, some of them look like they're holding something. It is just up to you to find which animation you think will look best for the picture that you are going to be trying to achieve in the end. Um, once you've found it, you're going to go back to settings and then remove it back to loop, which was the first option. Uh, I think it's the second one, normal is the first. Then you're going to do the same thing with your animations. So you come out of that menu and you're just going uh, through to find something that will work on the legs. So this is animation mixing because I'm using two animations together. I did change her outfit up because I decided I didn't like that dress. but. I am then going to decal overlays and I am adding her tattoo in under tattoo and it's just going to appear on her arm uh, because I forgot to add it during the customization phase. You can do that during any time, you can edit her while she's still in an animation, it's fine, it will work perfectly fine. So I just came out of no clip then because I was in it. Now you're going to Mandan D database pad manual movement. This is where you're going to be moving her around. So your is what, uh, like the direction she's facing, turns her around, pitch will lean back and forth, roll is to the sides. Z is going uh, down to the floor, X and Y is just moving around. Uh, you really need to fiddle with this, keep fiddling with scroll sensitivity, get sensitivity that you want and just keep moving it around. Now I'm going to how this is how people would usually add a phone to their picture. Object spooner, spawn into the world, object search and I chose a purse. So I'm going to be moving this purse in a managed entity database and I'm going to attach it to her just like how we attached her to us earlier. Um, I attach it to her body, and then a bone, and then I choose the bone, which is her right hand in this case. 
Once I come out of that menu, it's the same thing with manual placement. You just move it around again. So I'm shuffling it to find a position which I think it would look best on the picture. This isn't going to be in my final one, but this is how people add phones and uh, make mirror pictures. It's all through attachments, so even when she moves, that item will stay attached to her hand. Now that I'm moving back away from the character, I'm clicking F1 to begin in Rockstar um, recording. And you must record in third person, otherwise it won't, uh, it won't save properly. I did just delete the passes because I don't want uh, that in my final picture. Um, so now I'm moving back into Object Spooner. I'm going to manage save files and I'm saving the range to my file. This means if I want to come back to it and I do want to um, revisit this save, I can easily do that later. Um, before you exit out of that, you do want to go to your uh, entity database and delete everything in there. Do not leave anything in your entity database when you go into Rockstar Editor. I'm now entering the editor. I'm going to cameras, camera type, free cam, and then edit camera. This means that you can move the camera wherever you want. If you stayed in first person, you would not be able to move it. And that's why it's important to be in third person. And you also need to delete everything in your entity database. Otherwise you will come up with double uh, models. Right now I only have the one model, so that is completely fine. Use W, A, S, D and Q in E, C and Z to move your camera around. You can click H to hide your um, HUD, and that means that you can just click F12 to take a Steam screenshot, which is the best way of doing it um, to maintain the quality. So I just zoom in and out. I choose to keep a quite close zoom because it makes it more um, personal and makes the POV a little bit better when it's a selfie type picture. Um, but everyone does it differently. This is just how I choose to have it. I would recommend zooming in a little bit, otherwise you do lose some of the details and the facial features don't look quite right. Um, but I tried to get as much of the Korean sign in the background. I did attempt to get the balloon in the background, but it doesn't always work out. Once you've got your video, you want to exit out of Rockstar Editor and you can either go with that or launch up Photoshop, which I personally always do. I go straight to Photoshop after. I drag my picture in and then I'm dragging the rest of my pictures in and just spamming enter key um, so I can get them all in front of me. I always take multiple and then I just filter through them and I see which one that I want to keep, which one I prefer the most. I make a double of the background so if I'm editing it will never be on the original and I just delete the ones that I don't want and then I did drag in another picture here so this is because I took it through face app and just fixed up the hair. So the hair looks a little bit differently as you can see um, and it just adds it a little bit more volume and it changes the color slightly and just makes it look a little bit higher definition uh, because I used a mod so it wasn't the definition that I wanted. Um, and then I just go around with an eraser on the edited version and I just clean it up because obviously FaceApp does change more than just what you want it to. And then I merge the layers together so I don't have a layer that's half empty. I put away the rest into a folder because I'm just not going to touch them. I don't care about them anymore, but I do want to keep them just in case. Now that I have uh, my layout, which I do want to keep, I'm going to um, edit the picture and liquify. And by doing this, I'm just going into correct all the triangles that appear when you take pictures in GTA 5 and remove them, smooth them down with liquify. Uh, this also helps when you're trying to adjust the mod clothing, which makes your character's body look slightly more odd than usual. Um, but I do just go around and correct all the triangles. Thankfully, there wasn't that many in this picture, so I didn't have to do too much of that editing. Um, so they're very, very basic edits, um, as you can see, but now I'm going in to do the lips. So. There is a little bit of teeth showing and I can't fix it by just using paint over it. I can't fix it with just dragging the uh, copy paste marker over it. So what I use is I use the clone stamp tool and I take a little bit from the bottom and I paste it up. Take a different patch, paste it up. It is somewhat of a time consuming process but it ends up with a lot better results than you would get from just painting over it because you lose all the texture and uh, the quality of it. So I take some from above, some from below, 
and then I just repeat it over and over. So I bring some up, bring some down, bring some up, bring some down, take a patch from the bottom, put a patch on the top. Um, and there I am just checking it, making sure that it is all in line with each other. Uh, you can see the changes. So it's just removing that white, removing the teeth from showing. And um, yeah, then I am going to be going into the filter, camera roll filter, and I will be editing the basic look of the picture. So I just go through all the settings, play with the sliders and find one that works for me. I always turn the clarity up to give it a bit more quality. And then I'm, I'm adding a color lookup filter and fiddling through that as well and making sure that it, it adds more to it. Um, they're very basic edits, but the camera roll filter does make it look um, 100 times better. And you can probably find a filter that you can use consistently on your pictures uh, to always make it work. And there it is. There is the uh, copy and back of it.